Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the mean from a frequency table. We find the mean by taking the sum of all of the values and then dividing that sum by the number of values we have. So add everything up and then divide by how many values there are. Let's jump into our example where we have a frequency table displaying data about bike ride distances. Let's say that a person tracked the distances of their bike rides for a month. These are the results. In order to find the mean, we need to add all of the distances and then divide by the number of bike rides there were. So the mean equals, and let's first find the sum of the values, the distances. Now looking at the table, we start with a distance of five miles and that occurred twice. So we start with five plus five. But instead of writing each individual value, let's use the frequency table to shorten that addition problem. Five plus five gives us 10. Then we don't have any sixes. Then we have seven miles occurred six times. So seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, or seven times six. That gives us 42. Then eight miles occurred five times. That gives us 40. Nine miles occurred three times. That gives us 27. 10 miles occurred once. So that gives us 10. Then 11 miles didn't occur at all. So we don't need any 11s. Then 12 miles occurred three times. That gives us 36. And then 13 miles occurred once. So again, instead of writing out each individual value, we can use the frequency table to combine values. Then we can write out an addition problem here. So we have 10 plus 42 plus 40 plus 27 plus 10 plus 36 plus 13. So that's going to give us the sum of all of the values, the total number of miles. And then we divide that by the number of values we have. We can look at the frequency column to figure out the number of values we have. Now we start with five miles, which occurred twice. So we have two values there. We don't have anything for six. So two plus zero is two. Then we have six values here. Seven miles occurred six times. So two plus six is eight. Plus five is 13. Plus three is 16. Plus one is 17. Plus zero, we still have 17. Plus three is 20. Plus one is 21. So our total number of values is 21. So we divide our sum of the values by 21. Now we're ready to add and then divide. So let's add here. 10 plus 42 is 52, plus 40 is 92, plus 27 is 119, plus 10 is 129, plus 36 is going to give us 165, plus 13 gives us 178. So now we have our mean is going to equal, well, the sum of our values is 178, and we need to divide that by 21. 178 divided by 21 gives us 8.476, and that decimal continues on. So let's round to the tenths place and hundredths place for a couple of different options here. So let's round to the tenths place first. So we have a four in the tenths place with a seven to the right. So we round up. So our mean rounds to eight and five tenths or eight and a half when we round to the tenths place or let's round to the hundredths place as well. So we have a seven. And then to the right, we have a six, so we round up there as well. So rounding to the hundredths, we have eight 
and 48 hundredths. We are working with miles here, so I will squeeze our label in down below. So there you have it. There's how to find the mean from a frequency table. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.